In this video, I'm going to be going over how to set it up so that our character does a random idle animation after not moving for a specified period of time, and then he'll go back to his normal idle animation. So, if we go into the third person character, we'll just set this up. So, in some space, we're going to set this up. So, if you get the event tick, I'm going to check to see if our character is not moving. And to do this, we'll get our character's movement, and we will get his velocity get velocity and then we will get the vector length of this velocity and if this is greater than one so we'll get the greater than sign and if this is greater than one it means our character is moving so we'll create a branch and if our character is moving we are going to create a retriggable delay so this will reset every time it's cooled so if we move, this will reset every time. So if we do not move for five seconds after this retrieval delay is caused, we're gonna set it so that it plays our character's random idle animation. So I'm gonna just type in random idle animation, as this is where it's gonna happen when we don't move for five seconds. So to set this up in our character, I'm just gonna get random integer in range, and it's gonna play one of these variables and all make our character plays random animation. So I'm gonna set that up. So if we go to our character's animation blueprint and in the default slot, if we go to the idle run, here's where we're gonna create a reference to our, uh, the random idle integers we made. So give me a second, I've just forgotten what it's called. Oh yeah, we're gonna get blend pose by int. And then we're just going to plug the base one into zero, as this will be what our character does by default. We're going to promote this to a variable. And this is going to be what decides the animation that our character should play. So I'm just going to call this animation to play, and this will decide. And then we go to blend pose by end. I have three random animations that I want our character to go between, so I'm just going to add three blend pins. And then I've just got these idle animations from Mixmo, so you just feel free to use any of them idle animations you have because you may have a different character or something so I'm just going to drag these all in and then you'll just plug that into blend pose 2 and then this into blend pose 3 and then for the blend out type just to make it so it's smooth when it transitions between all these animations I'm going to make the time 0.5 and this just allow it to be smooth when it blends between these animations so now that we set that up if you click compile and go to the third person character so let's, we're going to reference the, anim, the third person character's animation blueprint and so we'll get the mesh and from this we'll get anim instant so get anim instance and from here we can uh, cast to our third person character's animation blueprint and reference the variable that we just created so if we just plug this in and then as third person we are going to reference the variable we just created set animation to play so we'll get our random integer and range and I'm just going to select minimum value is 3 and max is 3 and it will randomly select which animation to play using this random int and I'll just plug this in and then I'm going to create another retrigual delay and we're going to be referencing this in a minute so I'm just going to make it 5 seconds and we'll reference this in a second now if we just click play and we move and then if we just wait five seconds our character is going to start his random idle animation but then uh, he doesn't stop and continues when we move so we need to do a bit more things to smoothen this out so <coughs> after the false we want to drag uh, do once as when this starts it'll be false by default and we just want to make sure that it plays the random animation when we start if we're not moving so we'll just plug that in there and then what we're going to do is we are going to copy this and then paste this and we're going to just plug this into a cast of third person animation blueprint and then we're going to set his animation to play to zero so that when we move it just makes our character go back to his idle and walking blend space so we'll just plug that in there and we'll set animation to play to zero so he'll now go back to normal if, when we move if he's in the middle of an idle animation then we're going to create a custom event and I'll call this loop so that it will continue to loop the system if we just continue to stand still. And I'll plug this back into cast to third person animation blueprint. 
and then what we created earlier i'll just plug it to loop so after another five seconds we'll go back to our normal animation and then into another random idle animation so now if we just click play and we wait five seconds we'll see our character will do his random idle animation and then after another five seconds he's going to stop and then after another five seconds he's going to start his random idle animation again so that just happens to be the same one and the cycle will just continue and if we move he would stop that's all for now thanks for watching and uh, bye and like and subscribe if you enjoyed